meeting a black teenager and feeling something he'd never felt before. His eyes, his full eyes, and his face that was covered in blood kind of opened and my eyes connected and closed. And I felt instant empathy for this person. Now, he's showing change is possible. I am thrilled to welcome Christian Picciolini. He's speaking at an event for the Dallas Holocaust Museum, speaking to Holocaust survivors like Max Globin. And our opinion could be changed for the good if we desire as individuals. He wrote these lyrics years ago. Dylan Roof posted them months before shooting up a church in Charleston. Uh, I do think there is a resurgence. I do think that this has become an epidemic. And that's why Christian now travels the country, lifting others who are vulnerable, isolated, and like him, turned to hate. I don't look at them as monsters. I look at them as, as that kid who I was at 14 years old standing in that alley uh, who was misled and who can be guided back. Guided back to feel empathy, compassion, and inclusion. Not just for those they hate, but for themselves. It's really encouraging to see Picciolini recently started a new group called Free Radicals Project. It tries to help people in hate groups disengage. Learn more about it on our website, khou.com. The story is on our homepage right now. And